you know that you have the ability to create time, right? We all have the ability to create and make time for those things that are important to us. But how the hell do we do that? Now, I know that there is a huge problem out there, and I bet that you are having a massive thing right now with having to fit so many things in. Now, if you're like any of my clients, you're likely to fit into this kind of a profile right now. Yep, you're busy, you're a mother, you've got children who you have to run around with, and you're the taxi ball. You're also a really excellent wife, sister, daughter, granddaughter, best friend, mate, you're really, really great at juggling everything. But the problem is, is that you run out of a bunch of time, right? There are things that you know that you need to prioritize, that you're not prioritizing right now. You know that there are things that you need to fit in and do somewhere, <coughs> like self-care, <laughs> that you just let slide because right now you're not exactly sure how the hell you can fit everything in that you have to do, let alone more stuff. The thing that I've found more and more and more in my day and in my life is that when we choose to create the time and the space for the things that are important to us, this is when some magic happens. Now, I'm not talking about letting go of everything else and only focusing on your self-care or just letting go of all your family stuff so that all you're working on is, is doing the business because that we know that that doesn't work, right? We also know that balance is a bullshit myth propagated to probably, I think, make us all actually feel like we're just never ever achieving, so we're constantly pushing. What that leads to is adrenal fatigue, burnout, exhaustion. It can lead to you becoming very, very foggy and unclear and unfocused as to what to do next. Now, it's not your fault, and you're sure as hell not alone with this. I know you fit so much in. So the thought of adding another layer or another learning or another course or another focus is really and can be really quite daunting. The thing that I know is this though, is that when you decide what's important and you commit to that, the universe kind of, the universe kind of magically creates the space for you to do the thing that you're saying is really important. Now, I'm as woo-woo as the next girl, right? I have got my crystals, I have my chakra sprays, I'm a Reiki practitioner, I do energy healing, energy clearing, you know, all this kind of stuff. But what I know is that it's also got to be grounded in something. So what I'm suggesting is this, is that number one, the universe doesn't randomly just create the time for you, okay? What I am saying, though, is that if you decide and if you choose that this is something that you are going to do, that there is something really, really important. Let's take exercise, for example, or learning how to eat really cleanly for your health and for your body so that you can be in the best shape possible of your life. Maybe it's around learning how to grow your business. Maybe it's around actually taking some time out for you, like whether it's self-care, whether it's an hour massage every couple of weeks, whether it's reading a book at night, whether it's investing in personal growth, whatever the hell it is for you. When you choose that this is something that you need to do, that is non-negotiable, that it has to happen, you will then create the next required action and the steps to actually make that happen. One of the ways to do this is this. Get out your diary. And I want you to, I use, a, I use my iCal on my computer, so that way it goes from my computer to my laptop, to my other laptop, to my other laptop. It's shared across my team's computers. It goes in my phone. It goes in my iPad. You know, my calendar is everywhere because otherwise I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That way it doesn't need to stay in here, right? So why don't you right now go ahead and lock in the blocks of time that you need to put in so that you can achieve what it is that you want? It might mean that you need to create five hours a week for your business growth so that you can work on your business rather than in it. Go ahead and block those times in right now for personal development. The next thing is, is that why not go ahead and schedule an hour of self-care, maybe once a fortnight, through the day if you need to, or at night, talk to your husband, talk to your wife, talk to your kids, get them on board. Explain to them why this is so important and how it's actually going to help you be a better business owner, a better mother, a better daughter, a better wife, a better everything. Not that you're not good right now, 
but it's going to give you the time and the space so that you can focus on doing what it is that you need to focus on. I do this for my Facebook posting. I go in there and I'll schedule some time so that I can schedule in advance some of the posts that I put out on Facebook. I go and schedule some of the posts that I put up on Instagram. I go and schedule my timing to create blogs like this. I schedule in the time for self-care. I schedule in the time for when I'm going to be mentoring my clients, for the calls that I'm going to do, for the trainings that I'm going to deliver. This way, when it's in your diary, when it's scheduled, you'll actually find that everything else conspires and helps you to actually bring that into life. Another thing that we do right now, which I'm not really excited about, but it works brilliantly, is on a Sunday, my husband will go and do the grocery shopping, I'll start cooking. So we're preparing and cooking our meals for the rest of the week. Right now, I don't have somebody here at home to be able to help me with this. So it means that, oh, I have to do it. And it's great. Not really. I hate it. But it actually means that it happens rather than me getting to the end of the day, running around like a blue-ass fly, feeling stressed, feeling pressured, feeling anxious, yelling at everybody, trying to make everybody help me and do all the things. It's already prepared and it's done, which means that everything else flows so much nicer and the energy is so much better in the house. So your task for today is to go ahead and schedule in the time that you need to do that you need to set aside so you can do what it is that you need to do. A final little tip here. Now, the thing with time is that it is the, also the, the other side of the coin to money. Money is, or time is a mirror for money. You will find the money for the things that are important. If you decide that you have to go and get eyelash extensions and that you're not, that it means that you're going to be sad or something, then most people go and do that, right? I was talking to a girl the other day who actually said to me, she's like, oh, I had all this stuff, but I still found the money for her lash extensions. You know, of course she did, because that was something that was important to her at the time. I've had other ladies and, and men, actually, who prioritize their money for particular things rather than trying to spread it thinly over everything. You know, you've got to block in and create a budget, create a cash flow so that you can then match that with the time that you need to make that stuff happen. So my name is Nicola. Remember to leave your comments below, hang out with me on my blog, which is here, nicolamorass.com.au. You're welcome to follow the podcast, which is nicolamorass forward slash podcast, and you'll find all the episodes in there. Hang out with me on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Nicola J Morass. And of course, if you want to reach out, if you actually want some help with this, send me an email, nicola at nicolamorass.com.au. I look really forward to talking to you soon and helping you through this and helping you to find the time for you to do those things that are really important to you. Talk to you soon.